What's up guys, question 224 here. Today, I'll be showing you my Magic the Gathering cards. I don't know if you guys know what this game is, but it is a card game. And I will be showing you my deck. So this deck is tokens. Alright, let me get rid of that glitter real quick. So this is the Anointer's Priest. It's from Almond Cat. It costs two mana. And what this does, it creates a. Whenever you would play like a card, let's say like him, which costs three mana and is from the Pirate Dinosaur set, it would create two white vampires. That means you would gain two health from this activated effect. I currently have two of these in the deck right now. They're sleeved, dragon sleeved, dragon shielded, double sleeved. But I want to know if I should add other two that I have that do the exact same thing. So I have triplicating spirits. I have three of these in the deck. These cost six mana. And they're from M15. And they pretty much just put three spirit tokens on the ground. But you can use creatures to pay for them. Which means you can use your tokens to pay for the four mana cost. Which is very low. I also... Ooh, or not, I wouldn't say it's low. But for this token deck, it's very low. Since I don't have to... I have a lot. So hold on, let me find the fourth. There we go. That's the fourth one. So I have two anointed processions. These are rares from Almond Cat. Almond Cat does a lot of like mummies and stuff like that. So that's why they added so many. It costs four mana. And whenever you play any, would if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, that creates twice as many tokens instead. So that means we'll go back to Queen's Compa Compassion. That means if I were to play that, it would put down two. But if I had this card out as well, it would create four. And if I had that one out, it would create eight. And then, that also means that I would get 8 health if I had one of these out. So, I have two of those in the deck, but I also have two more. If you want me to add those, if you think they'd be better. I have... Four Phantom Generals, which gives creature tokens plus one, plus one for four mana to two, three. It just boosts my tokens so that, so it could, most of them create just a one, one. But if I had all four of those out, they would create a huge, like, they'd make them all five, fives. I have Twilight Dwover. Which is 3 mana, 1-1. One, one. But whenever a creature token leaves the battlefield, like, it's talking like the spirits, I get a plus 1, plus 1 on him. And whenever I remove a plus 1, plus 1 counter from him, I get to put 2 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens. So. Yeah, it's pretty good. I only have two of those though, because I had to trade for those, I didn't open them. I have two intangible virtues, virtues, they create, they just give my tokens plus one plus one in vigilance, which means they don't tap, they go like this after they attacked, they can block for their turn. I have two few of the souls. Which 
a non-token, whenever a creature, like a real creature, like the Twilight Drover, is put into the graveyard, I can put a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Where did I put it? There. I have two soul rings, which are technically banned, but I like to use them because this is like modern. But play once, immediately tap, and I get two mana, which is really good. And I have two of those. I have two more somewhere, but I'm pretty sure they're like protected, protected, so. I have four lingering souls, which is one of my best, like, things to put out creatures. Because I get, for three mana, I get two 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying. And I then I can use the flashback cost to play this again for two more 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens once they're in the graveyard for one colorless and one dark. Mana. I have two guards. When whenever they die, I get to put out two one one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Four mana for two. Sorry. Four mana, two HP, and attack. I have two Westvale Abbeys, and what the Westvale Abbeys do is I can, it's just normal land, but I can tap it and add a colorless mana, I can play five and tap it, like five other manas, pay one life and I get a 1-1 one, one white creature token, and then after I can tap five and tap it. And sacrifice or kill off the rest of the five, and then it turns into a profane prince, a demon legendary creature, which means I can only summon one of these. Sorry, I'm messing with the lighting right now. Let me try to fix it. But it has flying, lifelink, indestructible, and haste, and it's a 9 7 flip. And the art looks sick. And I have two of those. I'm always trying to get more. Because they're lands, technically, so I can have as many as I want. I also have Doom Traveler, and it's a 1 mana for a 1 1, and whenever it dies, I get a 1 1 spirit creature token with flying. So, useful. Throne of God Pharaoh. This can end games. So, it's two mana, and at the beginning of my end step, which is the final phase, I can, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tap creatures you control. And I'll show you why that's so good. Here, so, I put that off to the side. I have devout invocate invocation it's a mythic rare from m14 and it's seven mana so i can tap any number of creatures as and as you know it's a token deck so i'm gonna have tons of creatures and then i get to put out a four four white angel creature token for each creature tapped so i play this as a sorcery on my turn so this spell is gone and then I have this, which is Throne of the God of Pharaoh. And that then activates. And not only will I have all of those, but if I give them haste, then I can immediately attack. I don't know if I can give them haste. But I can pretty much immediately attack with them. And then they also tap. And if they can block off that then they're definitely going to have more than 20 HP, which is the total amount of health they get. you start with in the game. So that's how that works out so well. This is a good early game. It's one white, one black. Until the end of the turn, all of my creatures get plus one, plus one, and my opponents are weakened by 
minus one minus one. I also have Captain's Call, which is four mana for three one one white soldiers. Um, they might have vigilance. I don't know. I also have four spectral processions, processions, which is these are weird mana. So I can either pay three white mana, or six colorless mana, or any combination of that. So I have four of those, because they're one of the best, like, things that I have for creating tokens. Also have... Death's Grasp, I have two of those. And I can deal damage to player, or... or player and then I gain that many damage and X is just the amount of mana that I pay on top of the white and black so and then I have Elizabeth Sun's champion she is foil which just means it has a metal coating over it Mythic Rare is, is the pack one, so it's not like the really expensive one. It's six dollars. And I can put three one one white creature tokens and that adds one. For minus three I can destroy all creatures with mine with four power, which means if they have that if that hot number is higher than four they get destroyed and then the last one creatures I control get plus two and plus two and have flying that means all my tokens get a huge boost and anything that I don't have also gets a boost a boost and gets flying I'll go on to my lands and just give me a second to lay all these out so here we go, this is my lands. So I have the beginning. This is before the hour of devastation. Almond cap. So that's before. And then this is after the hour of devastation. Which is up next list. Or no some dragon dude comes and destroys the world. And then I have a foil. Uh, like, land, which you just like because it's foil. Then I have this full art. I like adding all full arts. And then I have five planes, which are also full arts. You don't have to have full arts. I just like having full arts. Then I have this one swamp, which is pretty rare, but it looks really cool. Also full art. And put all my lands to the side. And then I have... Then we'll go over the rest of them. So I have... Two Ballisticas. Which, it enters the battlefield like this. So I can't use it whenever I originally play it. And then I can return... I have to return a land. Like a basic land. To my hand. And then I can tap it and add two mana, two mana, to my mana pool, which only lasts one turn. Let's see. Oh, I totally forgot about the Lord of Anistrad. This is Soren. He cost four mana. And first ability, let me just read this to you. Put a 1 1 black vampire creature token with lifelink onto the battlefield. That's his plus 1. His minus 2 is I get an emblem with plus 1 plus 0 to all creatures. And then his minus 6 is destroy it to 3 target creatures and or planeswalkers. You turn each card put into a graveyard this way un onto the battlefield under your control. So I can pretty much take over any card that I want to that the that's on their field. I also have this guild gate, which you can tap 
and then I can tap it for either a light or a dark mana. And then I have four tainted fields. These are not the old ones, these are new. And I can tap them to add one mana. Or I can tap and add one in it white or one dark if I if I control a swamp. I also have two scored basins. It enters the battlefield tapped, but I gain a life, and then I can tap it for one white or one black mana. And then I have Arcane Sanction, which enters the battlefield tapped, but then I can get a water, a white, or a sun, and a black or a death mana. I also have two Avon Wind Guides, which are not in my deck, but they have Flying and Vigilance, and they give all my other one, all cre creature tokens I control, get Flying and Vigilance. I also have two Aether Hubs, which I've got from Friday Night Magic, coming in. Top players are getting voted, as you can see. The and pretty much whenever they enter the battlefield, I get a energy counter. Hard to explain. And then I can tap it, and I can add any color mana that I want to. These are cards that I don't have, but I want your opinion to know if I should add them. Murder investigation, and I enchant. A creature, whenever it dies, put 1-1 one, one soldier for where, like, the power or the thing that will normally be right there. That's how many, how many soldiers I get. And then there's Gather the Talonsfolk, which is put 2-1-1 one, one white humans. Or if I have less than 5, I get 5-1-1 one, one white humans, and it's 2 mana. And then I also have Hive Strings, which is, I put two who Slivers, which are overpowered if you know, if you have the right cards, onto the battlefield for three mana. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was my Magic the Gathering collection. I'll catch you guys in the next one.